father of us all, Stanley, now. Well, it's jolly nice to have a chance to be invited on your show. Oh, oh we <laughs> love having you here. You know well. that. No, you know well, that. very, very nice. What was that moment like then? I mean, you must have sort of... Well, noticed. there were two moments, in a okay. way. There was the moment in the Queen Elizabeth Conference Centre... Yeah. ..where the results of the vote were announced and he got a kind of two-to-one, you know, two-to-one mm. majority. Although, I've got to say, Jeremy Hunt did, did very well. That was something. I said to myself, well, how many fathers... You, you, you could do it. I can't remember how many prime ministers there have been, 55. Well, how many, of how many of those prime ministers have actually had their fathers alive... You know, I That's doubt That's a really it. good point, actually. I mean, Gladstone yeah. was 88, I think, when he last became Prime Minister. Yeah. So I don't suppose his father was alive, if you see what I mean. And, <laughs> um, but maybe not 88, maybe he was 80 when he mm. became Prime Minister for the second time. Anyway, so I think there must be a whole... Only a handful of fathers have been there to it's watch It's a it. great thing. And this one said, in our UK of 2050, we'll make, no longer make any contribution whatsoever to the destruction of our precious planet brought about by carbon emissions. Well, I know that's... But you know, to have it said so like that... So do you that, think that means he's been listening to you all along? No, 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 of course not. No, absolutely <laughs> not. And then he talked about... Then he talked about battery technology, British-made battery technology, cars, even planes are going to be flying. Actually, there was a theory. I think Richard, Richard Branson had a theory about, about planes being being flying on, on oil made by, from cooking fat mm. and things like that. No, it's brilliant. Our, our future, clean... Green, prosperous United Kingdom. So you Compton. see that he is perhaps because that's your great passion, isn't it? Environmental issues. So one of your great passions. So it's great that maybe he has got that in there. Do you know something? Business. I think it is perfectly possible that he might have noticed in the course of the last sixty or seventy years <laughs> that I have been quite interested in environmental issues. I don't put it any stronger than that. <laughs> Not. Not impossible, so, you know. So, so a lot has been made of the fact that he's wanted to be Prime Minister virtually from the day he was born. Yes, I didn't know that, born. by the way. Nobody ever told me that. Oh, look, <coughs> I, keep, I, keep, I keep on reading it in the press, but... but so that is... <coughs> so there wasn't a moment when you thought, this, my, this young lad has, has got ambitions? No, I'd say not. Uh, I'd say not to, not, not to my knowledge. There, there was a wonderful moment when the headmaster of his prep school rang, rang up and said, he's, and had tears in his voice, and said, oh, he's, he's, you know, he's just won a scholarship to Eton. And I thought, well, that sounds, that sounds quite remarkable, because up until then, Boris, actually, we obviously didn't call him Boris at home, we called him Alexander. Yeah. Because that's his name, Yeah. you see. And Boris came in, and his name, he's got a middle name, Boris. So he, he yeah. had real hearing problems. Yes, and but the then, they, then they... They're then inserted into the ear, aren't they, and they allow you to get better. And, and you yes. feel that really changed his confidence. I know, I think he feels... I think, I think he's written, written that, but I don't know. I mean, Gromit's... I, I'm, I'm sure it's a good thing, Gromit's. They've got to be available mm. at, at every chemist, I would have mm. thought. It's an operation, so it's a bit more, oh, bit, bit more than that. But, but you know, it, it obviously worked for him, which is great. Yes. Yeah. No, no. Great. So, anyways, from, from my point of view, the last thing I want to do is, 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 is stick around and say, look, but I will say there are some things which seem to be moving in the right direction. Okay. And actually, when I think about it, you know, if he got time, for example, I think he ought to head off to Brazil, not just to get a couple of caipirinhas on the beach, <laughs> you know, at, at Rio de Janeiro. No, to have a serious conversation with Mr. Bolsonaro. I've been going to the Amazon since 1959, and would you believe that I first helped? And, and, and Brazil, the destruction of the rainforest is I know. It's mm. all of us, all this sun in London, probably because the Amazon forest is about half the size well, of the Well, you want him to tackle some of these issues. Yes. The country wants him to sort <coughs> Brexit, and he's promised to do it. Oh, that's do right. you? <laughs> <laughs> you picked up on that, have you? <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you feel that he can do it? And do you worry if he can't, that it well, could be a very short period of being Prime Minister and, and celebrating? You know something? I have done, I think, must be 20 years in the EU institutions. No, it sounds quite, quite serious. I've done the European Parliament, the European Commission. I'm absolutely convinced he's right. He's right about this. We have to, we have to get Brexit done because that's what the country voted for. And the deal which is on the table at the moment, is absolutely... I mean, if you remember what he said yesterday, no country, no country that... God, I can't read my writing yet. <laughs> Some, that something is independence, and indeed... I can't read could that either. Could accept the deal. Yeah, no, I, we, deal. we saw it. We saw I know, it, yeah. it was very serious stuff, and it's absolutely right. And my mm. line is this. I think our friends in Europe must realise, now, at last, realise, that this is amazingly serious 
and we are coming out. You mm. see, we are coming out. And he might well offend people. Where do you see that? Is he, is he always been like this? Is he just somebody who just says what he thinks? Is he, you know, is he, has he got a reputation for that bluster that everyone describes him as? Well, you've got to remember that, you know, you, 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 know, you, look, at, you look at me uh, as though people know a lot about their children. You, you, you've got to remember that the kind of upbringing my children have, a lot of the... A lot of the heavy lifting, as far as parenting was concerned, that, that was done by the schools, and then, then he became minister for the for universities. So I don't think there's any question at all of. But, but he's never... against Boris's position. Well, hold he's on, hold on. Views. No, no. Look, where are well, we? Well, he is. He said it would be told, cause untold damage yeah, to the I know, nation. But listen, where, where where I was, I was, I fought, fought hard for Remain. Basically, where are we, we are now? We all are in a situation. Mm. That, that means the Remainers Johnson as well as the Leavers Johnson. We are in a situation where we, where we are behind the need mm. to get this, get this done. Do you see what I mean? And, and Joe, I'm perfectly sure, like all the other members of the Cabinet and the attendees of the Cabinet, recognise that actually now we are at the crunch point and what has to be done is a deal or no deal. And that is, that is basically where we are. And the irony of the whole thing is, you think all that backstop stuff, it was designed to protect Ireland. And the one thing which is going to throw Ireland under a bus is if Brussels simply says, no, 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 you've got to have the withdrawal agreement, which means you know, we, we have a no deal. That is the mm -hmm. most damage which will be done to Ireland. It's really ironic here, yeah, that's what I think. Yes, I have made, made speeches and I've go, uh, walked down the Whitehall and I have uh, had the honour of, uh, of meeting other people who have been making speeches at the same mm -hmm. time and Carrie has mm -hmm. been one of them. So, uh, but again, I think constitutionally, you know, he has a system of, of having advisors and, and that's how it'll go. Mm. Well, this is a big challenge and I'm and thrilled to be here. I'm going off, by the way, to keep my head down now. I'm going to Australia and I'm going to go and swim with whale sharks. There's a particular moment in, in natural history when the whale sharks, the <laughs> humpback whales and the manta rays all come together. And if you really want to get your head down, and keep it down so that people don't bother you about questions. <laughs> like, how well do you know Boris? How well don't you Boris? I'm, I'm beginning to wonder where Boris gets yeah. this from now. That's <laughs> how you avoid yeah. the difficult questions. The secret, there is, you go. The secret yeah. is to go deep down with a snorkel or even an aqua. Very clever, very clever. Well, I very, suspect very Boris good. might finish swimming with sharks yeah. a little bit at the moment as well. Yeah, a lot so. of sharks around, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. I'd say, Boris, why have you done this? Why have you done that? Um, and nowadays, I think I'm looking pretty old. And my, you know, my wife says I look stale, pale and male. Well, it's a compliment if you look like Boris. It means you're no, no, no. like brothers rather than no, father. No, 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 it's a very nice thought. Very nice thought. No, of course, of course, I mean, you know. Mm. Actually, I thought to myself, as he was going along the Mall to see the Queen, I thought, well, actually, you know, these people, I, I can't remember what it was, a Greenpeace. I once won the Greenpeace Prize. It would have been quite nice if he got out of the car and said, actually, chaps, very, very good point, but I'm a bit late for Her Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Old fashioned good manners would have yes. won the day <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> have, you had, have, you had, have you sat and had a cup of tea with him in, t in, ten, in number 10 yet? Uh, hold on. I, he was spent two and a half hours yesterday <laughs> doing, <laughs> doing Prime Minister's questions. <laughs> he had a statement for the nation to make. I don't, I don't think a cup of tea. I'm sure you'll but get one once you're back from oh, the Sharks. Back from the Sharks. Yeah. Anyway. Lovely. Thanks uh, for joining us, Stanley. Thank real, you so much. Real, real, lovely to see you, Will.